Hello everyone, Dope and Rope here, welcome back. We're going to jump straight back in. I think my TV channels are all dead now. I'm going to keep it on just so I can see when the power, I mean you got the lights, but it's a good signal of power being on. How is everyone? I hope you're all good. First aid, I was reading that. Can't remember how far I got. Not very far. Okay. Right, so my my plan for today is I'm just gonna chuck this shit away. Is basically I'm going to go and look for some more it's pretty much just looking around for shit. The usual. Um cooking pots. I'm saving, what I tend to do is I'm going to save, i got all the gardening stuff to do, but I'm going to do, or the gardening, the farming, I'm going to do that when it rains. That's when I tend to do it. I like to do all my gardening and my farming when it's raining, because you get the, the just the, the benefit of, as soon as you plant anything, it's instantly watered, and it's perfect. But I also want to get some water butts, some metal ones. They're out the east side. Um out with all the tents and all that shit. They got like, they're burning logs, like the barrels for, to keep warm and shit. But you take the logs out and you, you get the metal butts. And they hold like, I think it's like 400 if not more, like maybe even 800, they're massive. But they're, um, you, it won't be pure water, it'll always be dirty. Even if you put pure water in it, it becomes dirty because it's just a metal like oil drum but they're handy because they hold so much so I'll stick them out there perfect for the watering can um, I do need to actually get some well I got those so I don't need water barrels for pure water because I got there's so many of these things dotted around but that's the plan for the farming but I won't go and grab those metal water butts until I can hotwire the vehicles because It'll just kill two birds with one stone. But I'm going to probably do that tomorrow off cam, or at some point off camera, just because it, it will take so long to get the uh, mechanic skill up, because I still, I'm pretty sure I have to do two and a half cars left to do to, um, to get the skill up enough. And it will just take, it might take two days of non-stop dismantling because it will get a bit quicker as the skill goes up but um sorry uh it'll get easier as the skill goes up but it'll still take a good like probably two days maybe maybe three it depends so it, it'd just be better to do it off camera I believe um, just get some food in me yeah so sorry I'm, I'm getting myself all distracted so yeah I'll do that off camera get me get me um, what am I doing I'm completely bloody distracted sorry I, I had someone spoke to me so I had to mute and talk to him um, so yeah I'll get my hot wire skill done then I'll go off and get the water butts get the cars get the barbecues all the, like the propane tanks all the bits and bobs that's out, of, out the west side bring it back here then when it because I will get thunderstorms at some point so when I get that I will focus on the, the farming side so yeah I, I do have a plan <laughs> it's somewhere lost in my fucking head so at the moment the main thing I want to do is go and look for cooking pots because that will help I will also take a Molotov cocktail in case because I do aim to slowly start trying to work my way through all the zombies because as I say I haven't got any respawn on for them so once I have killed them they should just stay dead but I don't know if it's going to take till day 200 and something for them 
all to actually spawn in or not. Oh, well, there goes the power. I do like how you hear it. I, boo. I think I set this up. Generate your info, just connect. Add fuel, bollocks. Okay, we'll add whatever you can just to turn it on. Oh, that's inevitable. Day 19. Okay, well, I'm so glad I got the generator magazine. That does make it a bit more of a hassle when it comes to getting fuel. It means I'm going to have to take a generator with me. Right, now is everything on? Yes. Can I turn this on? Yes. The lights are on in here? Yes. Good. That's good. I've got it up far enough. Right, this. We will have to wait and see. This is on. I'm not sure about this one. Do I have to bring I might have to bring it over. Oh. Did that just light up, or am I going fucking crazy? I'm going fucking crazy. Um, I need something to stick in there. Give me something to stick in there. Fucking carrots. There we go. Uh, six and carrots in there. I think it's on because the light's on. Did the light go out before? I presume it would have. We'll leave it. It's only carrots. I'm pretty sure it's on. I can hear that one, but I can't. Oh, no, I can. Okay, it is on. Okay, okay, well, that's good. Well, that came a bit sooner than I expected. But I believe everything is in. In my little circle is on the power grid. Okay, so as I was saying, I was going to take a Molotov cocktail with me. I will make one because I can't fucking remember where I stuck a ball. So I make one. And I will take, I might take a shotgun with me, just because I do slowly want to start putting up some shooting skill. Not that you really need it. Like I, like I was discussing, you, you only really want your guns if they ever do put um, NPCs in the game. But it will still come in handy, just, just for a bit of fun for the meantime, because I don't think they're going to get... AI, uh, NPCs anytime soon. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta try and find where I put everything because I still haven't properly organised everything. I don't know where my bloody lighters are and all that. I might have one on me. I should do, I normally do. Matches are fucking useless for lighting mol molotovs. So I will have to look for one. Right, shot. Do I not have a double barrel? Ooh, that's naughty. I don't normally use anything but a double barrel. Attach it to your back. I need to get a, sh a saw and saw it down. Equip that in your hands. Put that in your backpack. Um, yeah, I prefer a double barrel. Oh, garden saw. Okay. At least I can saw it down. I believe you can saw it down. Can it not? Does it have to be the other saw? That's fucking stupid. Sword or shotgun? Yeah, it needs to be the other sword. That's f <clears throat> it never seems to make any difference what sword you bloody use normally, but oh, there's a lighter at least. But apparently now, for this one thing, you have to have this sword. Okie dokie. So we will load that. I do I do I do I? Yeah, in case.
case I come across like a freeze or something. So we want to insert six rotten cells. Pretty heavy load. That is because I have that in my hands, so I want to put that on my back and then have the crowbar in my hands. Do 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 do. I'll put that in the backpack for now. Shotgun shells, I may as well stick in there. I doubt if I'm ever going to actually use more than the bloody six. It's too early days. Water bottle, I'll put the empty one away. But it, it, it didn't worry, it's not. Fill that. Grab some crisps just in case. Okay, and we're off. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do all the mechanic stuff, get my high, my hot wiring skill up off camera. So then, for my next video, I can then concentrate on doing all that stuff out there. But in the meantime, I want to try and get some more cooking pots. I can't remember what vehicle is in what condition. And I have been stuck around here for quite some time. Okay, he's... okay. fix the hood before I go, but I don't want to keep wasting time. Ah, uh, what do you do? Oh, let's see, the bloody wheels. Actually, if the wheels come off, that would suck ass. Fuck it, I'll take this one. Wish me luck. Huh. Is there anything in it? There shouldn't be. Okay. How much fuel is it? I do, I do think this game would be great with NPCs. I know I've been talking about it a lot. But I think for the AI to be able to survive, it would be insane. <coughs> you need to get like the new AI, the, the new level of it that's coming out. You need to have like one of those on your, on your PC sort of running in the background and let it take control. Because... You would be able to see you programming an AI capable of surviving this shit. It'd be one of those newfangled bloody things for themselves, AI. That might have a chance. It'd be interesting to see how it would do. But that's the sort of level, I think, of AI you need to be able to actually... For it to stand a chance and survive in this game for more than five minutes, I wish it wasn't fucking foggy. <sighs> right, so yeah, I want to ideally go along here, but that's not impossible, but it's just annoying with the bloody fog. interested to see if they, uh, they put animals in the game. I know, like I said, you've got like foxes, not foxes, like rabbits and squirrels and shit like that, but like deers, maybe cows, horses. <coughs> I think I've heard they were going to put horses in, like that you could actually ride, so that would be interesting. Especially trying to like catch it, I suppose. seem as a, like an easy thing to do just to learn to bloody like become a cowboy because I can't see a horse just randomly following you you'd have to well, I suppose sneak up on it well yeah sneak up on it tie a rope around its neck and it would just follow you it would be a nightmare now but it would be interesting to see if uh if you get like carrots and stuff, then you got 
try and protect your cows. If you had deer, you could shoot the deer and stuff to get food if you needed to. Not that they'd survive very long, I would have thought with all the zombies. But then you could put, like, maybe bears in here, because it's definitely America, so you can have bears and stuff. They do everything and get killed, that's what I mean, they've, they've done, because the zombies are crazy in this game. Do I, do I stay here now? No. Um, because the there's so many zombies in this game. The idea of anything surviving other than a human just seems a bit crazy. Alright, I need to be quiet a second, guys, sorry. I am... Um, Going to get myself fucking killed. Why is this not on my back? It is on my back. Okay, put that in my hands. I can't see fucking anything, but I know they're around. Right, okay. Is it just two? If it's just two, I'm alright. Because I want to ideally leave this nice and away. Okay, there's more. <laughs> A lot more. So I will move the van. I really hate the fog. Christ, I can't even see the fucking van. Just don't want to do it too much damage because its wheels are quite fragile. They still got a bit of life in them, but they are fragile. I wish it was clear. <laughs> so I could just see. Can I? Shh. Okay. No. No, just the one. It's just the one. It's just the one I can kill it. Too far. Try and be sneaky, sneaky. At least for a minute. Right, okay. What's he got? A hunting knife for his handy. Should start making spears at some point. I can't remember how many there were inside last time, so it'll probably pay to assume there's a lot. Second plan, third plan, fourth plan, whatever plan. Just drive a lot further. <clears throat> I really wish this fog would just piss off, but it's probably not going to happen until about 10 o'clock, maybe, maybe even 11. Right, if I can get. I can't remember how many is along here. A bit of a distance. Okay. And as per usual, this is probably what I've already fucking been in. Okay. Double check everything.
apologise for the silence, but I'm so busy listening. That I can't think of much else other than someone's going to fucking sneak up on me. I should, oh, it's stale, but fuck it. I'll take the lard, because you can add that to your stews and stuff. Um, fuck it, I will take these. Well, it's, I mean, now the power's going out, I should try and grab whatever food I can before, uh, it all goes tits up for all. Right, so there's no cooking pot, which is the main thing I was looking for. Don't really want to start shooting my gun or setting off my Molotovs until, <coughs> until sorry, uh, until the fog is lifted, so I can actually use my gun to attract everything, and then once I've got enough gathered, I'll burn them all up. That's the general idea. So I, I am pissing us about drinking. And I want to keep moving in case someone tries to sneak up on me. Although I don't think sneak walking is quick enough to outrun the zombies, so I'd still get my ass killed. Okie dokie. Um, what have we got here? Number four? I'm pretty sure I need to read these so I know which ones I've actually fucking read. Take that, take that. Take the book. We need to take the books. Like I say, you get so depressed on the rainy days. That eventually trying to keep sane is going to be impossible. Box of bullets, take the bullets. Oh. I think someone's seen me. They definitely moved a bit quicker. Gun case, bloody hell, guns galore. I keep getting distracted. <gasps> oh, you fucking jump scare him, bastard and fucking uh, I don't like this because there's so many open windows oh this is fucking fucked up I need to fucking go oh. I can hear it you obviously could see it, the way it bloody went blue. But, um. I can't see it, but you can fuck it, or you could see it, evidently. Right, no cooking pot. I know we had saucepans, but they're not really. Well, I suppose it's better than a kick in the bollocks, but. It's not as good as a cooking pot. Is it lifting? I'm not sure. I should drop off the guns and stuff because they do weigh quite a bit. That zombie, I think, saw me, so he will be coming. It's just down to where these zombies that were in this other house have gone. bring the grey van on a foggy day, didn't I? Alright, just chuck it all in there. I'm going to get jump scared in a minute, I guarantee you. By a goddamn zombie creeping up my ass. But yeah, I mean, eventually, AI is going to get to the point where, like, you know, you'll 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 be going around picking whether you get your Microsoft AI, you get your Sony AI, and then you'll download this AI fucking program onto your PC, and then you'll use that to like 
instead of having a player two as a like a person, you could play a two against your AI that you've downloaded. That's that's what the world's going to come to. You'd be sat in your house chatting to your AI. You'd be like, "Oh, do you want to have a game of Call of Duty one on one?" And you'll try and beat your AI. And Microsoft would be like, "Our AI is better than yours, Sony," and all this bollocks. It'll be called the AI Wars, but it won't be the kind of AI Wars like Terminator will be around kicking ass. It'll be corporations trying to flog you with the best AI. And they'll be assuring you that it, it won't spy on you. No, no, it'll learn from, from your gaming and it'll challenge you and make you better. Don't worry, it's not recording you enter your bank details. But that will be the future. But at that point, I mean, you wouldn't know if you're playing against a person or a bloody AI, because it'd be so good. But that's what I mean, that's the sort of AI you need to be able to survive in this game, in my opinion. One that's like learn learning that you know a terminator, a learning computer on our bollocks. Um, but yeah, that would be it. And you mark my bloody words, eventually AIs will be flogged by other companies. It'll be the next thing you have to, you have to the must have for, you, for the gamer. What AI have you got? Ooh, that shit. Get this AI. Recommended by this YouTuber. <laughs> Don't worry. He's not getting paid to sell you this AI, he's the best. Well, he's sat there with all the AIs, <laughs> so he don't really give a flying fuck. I don't know. AI's a terrible idea. But, uh... It's inevitable. It'll be stupidly expensive. But hey. Until then, you get my useless ass playing this game. And any other game that I can get into. Ugh. Okay, you will pour that away because you don't want that filth. But I do want the cooking pot. What have you got on you? Nothing interesting. Uh, soups. I don't ever see the fucking point. I should probably take them, don't get me wrong, but. Our soup tends to just seem like a waste. We want, um, like meats and stuff like that. Oh, carpentry too, yay, that's good. I'm just gonna grab most of it because I can't remember which ones I do and don't have. And Sod's Law, the one I don't take, is the one I fucking need. I don't think I need metalworking too, but. It's uh, not worth the risk. Five, I bet I got that one. It just won't give me number one. Have I got number two? Probably, but you know. Don't want to go in there because I'll be fuck all in there. Right, so that's good. That's a cooking pot. Could do it a couple more. Have I been in that house? I do not recall. No, I haven't.
keep that house. Oh, okay, they don't want it anymore. That's uh, inconvenient. I do want to go in there to really. <laughs> Jiminy Jitter is radioactive, man. Fucking hell. All right. Uh, all right, that escalated rather uh, swiftly. All right, I could. Uh, okay, I could. Uh, okay. I could. <coughs> okay, I'll just fucking run him over. Well, I will. I'll try to not. I swear to God, if I've lost my van because I can't remember what I've done with it, because it's grey. Oh, I've gone too far, and I bet I moved it up with me, didn't I? I did. <laughs> Only a pillock would take a grey van out in the fucking fog. I can't have run past it. Alright. For the love of God, remember. Remember, what did you do with the van? Oh, here we are. Jesus, how far back did I go? See, the fog, it disorientates me so much that I... Right, okay. Oh my God, it was there and I ran all the way down there, didn't I? Like a I don't know where all those zombies have gone, because there were a shit ton of them. Oh, I think I found out where they've gone. All around me, in a circle kind of motion. leave that house for now. It's clearly not worth the hassle. I haven't been along here, so I don't really recall. That is sweat, yeah, not blood, okay. I don't recall how the road really goes, so I'm going to have to pop in here for safety. Drive a little bit and bring the map up. some zombies come in, but it's just how many. <sighs> Hopefully not many. <laughs> just leave me alone. Just everybody walk off. Okay, that's 
to start. I should keep that open. Uh, I shouldn't. Well, I should, but um, I don't know. I just know there's one in here. I'm hoping it's just one. Or I think there's one. Yeah. Hello. Hello. because I left that window open. <laughs> peaches, peas. Might take the peas. I'm not sure if you can grow peas. Four, or four, fuck's sake, what's with the magazine number four? It's obsessed. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the peas. Ooh, what was that? A key. Take the key. Is there not like a... Right, so ideally I shouldn't be taking too much. Oh, well, that's <laughs> I should. Annoyingly, I should be taking the food as well because of the bloody power cutting out. But I didn't want to take the food. I would just pretty much get cooking pots and um, like gas cans would have been nice. Because I need to stockpile gas cans ideally. Headphones, shoes. I can grow them so I don't need to worry too much. Empty cooking pot, legendary. That's three pots and I got four back at home, so that's four, five, six, seven. Nice amount of stuff. Um, sardines, spaghetti bolognese, corn would be good. I'll watch my weight. Then obviously there's going to be stuff in here. I should eat what I can. I'll try and take the frozen meats. Well, it's all not very frozen anymore. Right, so my slightly tired, so I need to be careful. It's quite quiet around here. Famous last words, but it is at the moment quite quiet around here. Oh, he was about 
back to open it, and I was like, oh, I should try the door first. Oh, just as you expect to fucking open it. <clears throat> right, well, we'll waste time. Okay. We don't need to crouch. I needed to crouch. I should have crouched. I probably. has been carrying a fair weight, so maybe that has unfortunately sped up the speed in which he's got tired. Alright, I should um Alright, so quick change of plan. Obviously he's knackered, but that's not the only reason that I, I do need to get back because the food I still got plenty of time with it, but I, I, the quicker I get back and get it frozen, the better. But it does suck that he's so fucked and he's warm. And the fox still hasn't gone, I was hoping it would have gone by 10. is there's still loads of time before like everything starts overgrowing. So plenty of time for that. I don't know if the fog drain like makes you tired because I presume he's straining like the character is technically straining his eyes trying to see and dodge all this in the fog maybe it maybe that also makes him tired because I mean it make me knackered if I was trying to dodge things to this degree in, in fog seems so nice and quiet when you watch The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's all these nice, quiet roads. And then, uh, well, you get massive hordes here and there, but it's just like, ah, oh, so much driving and pure bliss. And here it's like, oh, shoot, oh, fuck, oh, shoot, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, oh. But then I suppose that is considerably 
longer after the initial event was I think I'm like 19, 20 odd days into the breakout per se. That's the good thing, I've got so much food. <sighs> yeah, okay. I gasped because I don't know if I topped up the fucking... I know I put some fuel in the generator, but I didn't go back out and then top it back on. Oh, Adam, it's got a fair bit in it. I'm surprised. I thought it had fuck all in it. So that's good. I was expecting to come back and it will be dead and be like, oh shit. Right, okay. Bell pepper. Broccoli. Carrots. Cheese and chicken. Beef. Patty. Ice cream. Mixed veg. Orange, peach, peas in a pickle. Maybe some cheese as well. Uh, I don't even... What? I, I don't even want to try and pronounce it. I probably should be able to say whatever that is, but... It's just pickling my brain looking at it. It's like, because it's not marmalade, it's like re mum re mum re mum re mum case <laughs> other stuff as well I suppose but the military backpack is usually t-shirt hot okie dokie well that wasn't quite as well I mean it was a, a partial success I suppose I got three cooking pots which is what I went out for so I shouldn't complain too much and I got some food out of it I was hoping to come back with like, you know, 20 cooking pots, 15 gas cans, all that shit, you know, but, but no, it wasn't in the cards. Stick the apple in there. Stick some more ground beef. I am going to have some very nice shoes. Very, very nice shoes. Alright, so I think that's everything that I immediately need to stick into the freezer. Put the cooking pots in there so I know where they all are. And everything else for now. Alright, the hot sauce and the lard I should put in there too. And everything else I will just generally chuck down for now and I will rearrange once I've actually finished off my organizing, organization and all that. Because at the moment my organization is pretty crap. But I will eventually sort everything out nicely. I presume you can paint these walls. Because it says you can paint onto plaster. So 
I don't think you can plaster these. You can only plaster your wooden walls, or say your metal walls that you build. So whether these are technically classed as pre-plastered, who knows? But maybe I could grab some paint and paint this place up. Everything? No. Okay. This one, I'll just chuck that, 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 just for now. Okie dokie. What is that on the floor? It's driving me mad. Some scrap electronics. Okie dokie. I will eat some carrots now. I'll eat a carrot. Yeah, so, uh, um, like I was saying about the AI, eventually it's going to get to the point where that's going to be the new thing. Everyone's going to have it. And at that point, you'll probably, like, whether or not they, like, I don't know, how would you do that? I suppose you'd make a game, but you wouldn't include AI, you'd include things for AI to use but you wouldn't get built in AI so you'd have a separately sold AI from say Microsoft or Sony and then you'd like that that AI would run every game so whatever game you played like I don't know Fallout 10 at that point you know, you'd get, you know, whatever super mutants, ghouls, all that shit, they'd just be sort of, you know, the the models, the character models and all that. And then your AI, whichever you, AI you have, whichever model would then give you, I suppose, different challenges depending on which model. But then I suppose they'd all learn, but maybe they learn differently. You know, it's, it's, this is all future shit, but it's the way it'll go. You'll have to buy a bloody AI for like 20,000 fucking quid or whatever, and you know, it wouldn't be that expensive. Well, <laughs> it might be. You never know. But yeah. I hope I haven't given them my dears, because that would suck. <laughs> or if I do, give me some money. <laughs> but, uh, that is what they will eventually do, they'll flog you it. And then that, that AI would run on whichever game you buy. <clears throat> but I suppose it would be a hell of a challenge. That's the only good thing about it, is it would provide like a challenge. There was a game years ago, God, I think it was called... Is it Z or Z Steel Soldiers? If I remember correctly, but that game had what they class as a very early AI. It would, it was like a strategy game, like Command and Conquer, Red Alert, and all that. It would learn from where you attack. So if you attack them from the north, it would then build and protect the north. If you attack from the south, it would then build more defenses in the south. It was very early, but it was quite clever but the game itself was quite ugh, but it had good ideas but that's that's the sort of thing I mean that's I mean this is early so I mean obviously <laughs> shit can do that now anyway but but back when that came out back in the day that was like whoa and now it's going to be like that but the next level with AI when AI takes over and by takes over, I mean takes over, like, gaming, um, like, takes over how, how the, the game's bots and stuff like that and NPCs interact, because it'd be, because I suppose if you were to talk to, like, just going off one here, but like, like, with Fallout, where you interact with characters, you'd be interacting with the AI to a degree. Hmm. 
It could be, I mean, it'd be interesting with like Dungeons and Dragons. Cause imagine having, I mean, they have that technically now, but like a really smart AI being your dungeon master, that'd be a fucking nightmare. It's a long way away, but I don't know. You'd have to be able to create stories and stuff. Hmm. I don't know. All this, just because I'm thinking of if they put NPCs in this fucking game. And how unlikely it could work. Unless it had an AI to bloody control it. Like, a smart fucking AI. But I mean, it'd need to be pretty smart, because to know when to fight and when to flee. Most AIs are just fight. Right, unfortunately, guys, um... My character is so fucking knackered. <coughs> I can't really start doing much, so... It's going to be a bit boring, so I will just read a book. I need to do my carpentry too. Oh, I took it all out, didn't I? Right. Well, it might not be boring. It depends what I can chat about. I'm just going to sit down and read carpentry. And probably keep running on about AI. <laughs> because he can't do much because he's so fucking tired. But if I go a bit too early, he'll get up stupidly early. So I'll sit him down nice and comfortably. Read his carpentry book. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode today, I'm afraid. But I don't know. Oh, well. I, I stand around chatting at the moment these days. Instead of getting on with it. So he takes a bit out of him. Just from being bored, I think. So we'll leave him doing that. But yeah. Uh, NPCs I've discussed. Uh, animals would be interesting. I can't see them lasting very long if they do. I mean, horses. If they do actually put horses in this game, I, I don't. Unless they make it so zombies don't attack animals, but then. I don't know. I'm sure there's some versions of zombies out there that don't actually attack animals. But I'd have thought. I'd have thought they would. They just go for anything that sort of moves and is warm, I suppose, make, or makes a noise. Um, so yeah, I mean, if they did have animals in the game, they just, they would just get murdered. But then, in a way, I don't know, if you knew there were animals, would you start the game, run to, like, the ranch, which had the cows or whatever, or whichever, it would make you play a bit differently. Would you try and save the animals? I mean, if you had a load of cows, you could get milk and all that stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, you don't want to turn this into, like, fucking Harvest Moon or bloody Stardew Valley, but... Um, it's all things that'd be interesting if they had in the game anyway, even if you... Even if you couldn't, say, do much with it at the moment, if you just had them and they just got attacked and killed, you're just going around and finding. Because, I mean, at the moment, there's no dead animals. I presume they've all been ate. I mean, obviously, they're just not in the game, but... You use your imagination, you'd be like, well, they've obviously been munched, but then you... It'd be nice if they could put some carcasses in or something like that. I mean, you wouldn't want dogs. It would be nice to have dogs in the game, but it'd be too... You'd have to make them invulnerable, and that you don't want anything in the game invulnerable. As bad as it is, I mean, you could put dogs in there and make them not vulnerable. There's plenty of games where you kill dogs, so it's just. But you know what happened? You'd get a dog, and you'd take it in, it'd get killed, and you'd just be distraught. You know, what some people would. It is just a game at the end of the day, people. But I understand that you do. Some people, you you can get connected to. The, certain things in games I mean Christ what was the game um, I think it was the darkness if anyone ever played that game there's a scene in that where you I think before it all goes tits up where you're with your girlfriend on the couch 
and you can just chill there. And it's the last moment of like, I can't, oh, it's been so long. I think you should, well, no spoilers. Play the game if you haven't. All right, I'm gonna go into spoilers now. I'm pretty well, pretty sure spoilers. I'm pretty sure she dies moments after or not long after. So it's the last like bit of, oh, this is nice. But you could just sit on it. Like sit on the couch and watch TV with her and all that bollocks. It's just a stupid little thing they put in the game, but it's just nice. It made you connect, like you felt, or I felt something when she then fucking died. But it'd be like that if you had a dog in the game. You'd get so attached to it, and then it'd get fucking munched by a zombie. It'd be fucking distraught. But at the same time, if they do put horses in the game, it's going to be the exact same. You'll get a bloody horse, and it'll be just like the fucking first series of The Walking Dead. You'll end up going into town with it. And you'll get fucking... you'll get killed. I, I can't... I can't see... The thing is, they've made this game... Like... It's a great game. I love the game. I can't really, uh, you know, but there are a lot of zombies. I mean, for, uh, I don't know, for the amount of how, it's, it's, if you take it into realism, if you, if you went real, there wouldn't be enough zombies with the amount of houses and all that to make the game enjoyable enough. You'd kill them pretty quick if, say, each house had, like, two, three, four zombies, you know, and all this stuff. You've ma you made like an amount, that would, uh, uh, like a realistic amount for how much stuff you have. It wouldn't be enough to make the game enjoyable, in a sense. I mean, I don't know. I th I think personally, I think it would be. <laughs> I might myself find it quite enjoyable. If there was like a realistic amount of zombies, and then say like you had all that they figured it all out, you'd have say twenty thousand zombies all dotted around in realistic places, and then you'd have say hordes would come in. Um, this is getting a bit a state of decay, state of decay, but it is the only sort of other way. Is that once you've killed all of these, you're never going to really be done with them all. Because they would, even now, once I do them all, that is still a bit unrealistic. Because more would migrate in from other cities around and all that. Unless you're on a fucking island. Um, so that would be, I wouldn't mind that. You could get away with that. Because then realistically, all the zombies would be in the towns where you'd want to be. Or you'd want to go get supplies, but in these quiet, really, really quiet places out here where you would have the animals, you might only have the one, two, three, four zombies that are in the farmhouse. So you'd have a chance to actually save the animals, or the animals would have a chance to get away before more zombies come in from off screen, you know what I mean? I think I actually, if, if they did that, I would play it like that, where you had the real like that but then that if you did that you could get away with then having well it depends how you'd look do you like if you had NPC, like NPCs they were all everyone was alive to start off with and then they started to the infection started to break out then, but then you'd be able to kill the like the two zombies before it really kicked off but then that's where the fun really comes in because really with, zomb with the whole zombie thing is everyone has it so it's just a, a thing that happens once you die there's no getting bit just speeds it up you could die of old age you still come back as one so you could just say that a comet passes over or crashes and that's when from that point on anyone who dies whether it's from the zombies or not would start coming, like, cropping up. So, I don't know. They could integrate a way of doing it. It'd be interesting. So, say it breaks out in the hospital. 
because obviously it probably would if that happened. People would start dying in hospitals anyway. You know, you, people people do die in hospitals, so you get some popping up in the hospital, breaking out, would bite people, blah, 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 so you get a few uh, before they could get it under control. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's a lot they could... Jesus Christ, there's a fucking house doing in the morning. There's a lot they could do. But I'll talk more about it another time. I, I got so much shit I could say about this. fucking more to say about this game. Like, Anyway, everyone... Thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you all again soon, alright? Take it steady.